Hello friends, I'm back sharing with you and, and, and talking about how we celebrate the season as a family. What makes this unique? Once again, I am a Messianic believer, meaning I attend a Messianic synagogue. You know, there's been a lot of stuff going on this year. Just a lot. There's been a lot of thoughts in my mind and my husband's mind and discussions with people and there's a lot of things that are coming out uh, within the, the, the Christian community that has completely shocked me. I wasn't expecting perspectives and ideas and thoughts and support, unsupport. Just it's been very interesting. It's very, been a very interesting year. And so when it comes to these holidays, which most people celebrate Christmas, and we don't actually celebrate it in a sense that uh, most people would expect us to celebrate it. We actually celebrate Hanukkah, mostly. There's a lot of meaning behind a lot of things this, this holiday season. So, first of all, you know, I in the past I've made videos where I share with you why we don't celebrate Christmas. I have definitely relaxed a little bit more into what this means. Listening to Christians more, why they celebrate Christmas. Also realizing, you know, just because I do things different um, doesn't mean I can't be a part of a lot of the things that they love. So, first things first, okay? When it comes to Christmas, I have a lot of Christian friends that do it because they specifically want to focus in on the birth of their Messiah, Jesus. I, me, that's really important to me. If my brothers and sisters in Messiah want to do that, I shouldn't have no shame. No shame in wanting them to do that. And if they want to invite me to a festivity that includes that kind of celebration, I, I'm not ashamed to go. I'm not going to reject go because I don't celebrate Christmas in a quote-unquote traditional way. It, it, here's the other thing I'm finding out with people is you like to fill in gaps, okay? When I say I don't put a Christmas tree up in my home, I, I don't. A Christmas tree to me means nothing. There's no meaning. All it is is I, a burden because bringing a tree into my home it sheds and it's a lot of work and a lot of money for being up for only a certain amount of time. Uh, a plastic tree, you gotta find a place to put it and then you buy ornaments to put on it. And you know, it doesn't mean anything to me nor does it mean anything to my husband or my family. And so therefore we just, we don't put a tree up. So we also do not do stockings. Once again, we do Hanukkah and there's seven days of gifts, which I don't even do that. <laughs> I did, you know what's funny is I did do that one year. I did do that one year when I was on YouTube and um, you know what, it just was such a burden and I didn't really get to enjoy anything. Uh, what I do like, to, what I am going to do this year, just so you know what I'm doing, I should make a video on what I'm doing for Hanukkah. As I get closer, maybe I'll do that video. But my thought is for the seven nights of Hanukkah, seven days of Hanukkah, to do something that is more of an experience and not into stuff. Now, I like buying stuff for other people that don't live in my household, but when it comes to buying stuff for my kids, <laughs> I'm not into that. I'm into experiences. I'm a, I, I am a time person, but I also know other people like stuff, so we don't do stockings <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I've tried in my head to say Christmas is an excuse for me to get presents for people that I normally wouldn't give things to, and there are a lot of people out there that I've been wanting to get gifts for. I do have a list of people and I will be getting them gifts for Christmas because if I randomly got them gifts in the middle of the year, it would be really awkward. Um, <laughs> there is also that other side of the coin where it's like you're obligated to get people that you don't really know that well and don't really feel like you want to buy them gifts. You're supposed to buy them gifts. So it's just such a weird thing. I don't take my kids to sit on Santa Claus's lap for lots of reasons. One, like, there's no meaning, and um, Santa Claus always kind of creeped me out a little bit when I was a little kid. Okay, things that I do during Christmas. I mean, I love Christmas cards or holiday cards. I like snow if I get to see it, but that's not very Christmassy. I also like Christmas lights. They're fun to look at, but I don't really put them up. But okay, so here's the thing, right? And I feel like this is the most important part of the video. So hopefully you made it this far. There is definitely a connection between Hanukkah and Christmas and this whole entire season for both Messianic believers, for Christians, and it really does come down to the Messiah. The fact that he is the light 
He is the light of the world that has been brought into this world that has sacrificed himself. But it's this idea of bringing the light into the world. So you have the menorah and you've got the middle candle, which is the one that lights all the other candles through the week, the seven days. The middle candle is called the shamash, which actually translate to helper or servant candle. And that is the candle that is lighting each and every one of the other candles. And that candle itself actually represents our Messiah. Christmas is also about Messiah coming into this world. When I'm entering into this holiday season, I'm starting to see more unity. This is about unity. This is not about division. We're having enough of that going on right now. Like I mentioned before, it's been very, very interesting. I just feel like more and more that the body of Messiah itself is just, it's fighting. Okay, I had to stop the video here and add something that I thought was very, very important while I was editing this video. So it's picking our battles. When it comes to the deity of Messiah, Trinity, those hard, important things, yeah, we got to take a stand on those things. But there are some very petty fights that are going on out there within the body of Messiah that has no scriptural, sound scriptural backing. And those are the things that are dividing us. For example, how one celebrates Christmas. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Even though somebody celebrates Christmas different than the way you do, doesn't mean it's wrong. And maybe they don't celebrate Christmas. But don't try to fill in the gaps as into why they don't celebrate Christmas. Don't make assumptions. And for those of you guys that are very anti-Christmas thinking it's pagan, I know you've got a lot of research to try and say why it's pagan and all the things, but just ask yourself, does, does this all point to Messiah in the end? That's all I say. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to like beat a dead horse anymore. So if you want to see those other videos where I talk about this whole like, you know, being a Messianic believer during this season and all the things, check out those videos. They're right there. You can see the evolution of me over the last few years and my thoughts on all of this. So thank you guys once again for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.